Yeah. Hey Nikhil, it was the final episode today. Hi. Um, yeah, final episode today. पता नहीं चला पूरी सीरीज खत्म भी हो गई और इतने अच्छे इतने इंटरेस्टिंग इतने इमोशनल इतने थॉटफुल कॉन्वर्सेशन हुए सो आई एम वेरी वेरी हैप्पी दैट वी हैव रीच यू एंड टुडे इज अ स्पेशल डे राइट टुडे वी हैव अ बोर्ड ऑफ वीमेन वी हैव गॉट थ्री वीमेन दैट आई इमेंसली एडमायर दे इज लीजा मंगल दास दे इज मिथिला पालकर देर इज सिस्टी गर्ग एंड या दिफ अग्रीड टू कम ह्योर to give us a little bit of the other perspective in a show about masculinity i think it's important to know what the women are also thinking and what are you looking forward to learning from them mai actually chahta hu ki agar thodi honesty mil jaye mujhe thodi dil se baatein ho paaye aur aur thodi ladkon ke sath pole khole if women can today give us some perspective ki hum kahan better kar sakte hain unke sath unke liye aur society ke liye bhi aur kahan hum shayad apni humanity mein thoda aur tap kar sakte hain Uh, I think I'll be very happy if that happens. But हाँ थोड़ा तो nervous हूँ मैं देखते हैं क्या आप बताने आज. So we've got actually for this episode a very special uh, women's board or a women's panel uh, of uh, three women that I really uh, love and admire uh, and. Uh, whose perspectives i'm very excited to hear because i feel like of course men should learn from each other but uh, men should also listen to the women around them and the women in their lives and women everywhere honestly to understand how to be a better man mithila uh, the fantastic mithila palka who i think is is the nation's crush ever since she did little things she is <laughs> yeah the the little things and the, the big heart that she has has been visible to everyone um lisa who is literally i think the one person who i have seen who talks about sex with empathy she tries to make sure that the average person uh, doesn't feel bad about reaching out to her or, or listening to her uh, srishti garg is the the new kid the hot kid on the block uh, the gen z superstar creator her gen z reels have gone so viral i've i've learned so many <laughs> terms from her over the last few weeks including the fact that apparently boys are calling uh, girls mommy and <laughs> girls are being called girls are calling boys daddies which is a is that true there's so much to learn from there's <laughs> a lot to learn from sishti uh, so thank you welcome everyone to be a man yaar uh, and uh, women being called on be a man yaar but i think it makes sense do you agree with what i said why we require why we need to be listening to women yes <laughs> Always. Sanshit me. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> you know like how approvals work with clients, you need to get a feedback and then you need to do the revised changes. It's like that where like the clients here. I'm going to ask questions on love, sex and dosti. Uh dhoka bhi kahin beech mein aa jayega. But usse pehle usse bhi pehle main ek jo bahut hi simple question hai, is there a thing like an ideal man? Mithra is going to punch me for this, but Abhay Deol <laughs> Why will I want you? Abhay is a very dear friend. No, no, we were just constantly talking like about him. I'm leading. I'm pretty sure I've annoyed her with all my Abhay Deol oh. stories by now. So, but why, why is Abhay Deol your ideal man? I think he's Because very. Because he's commented like... on your post. <laughs> <laughs> so, Because he hugged me three times. <laughs> no, but. Uh, I think you know, like I really love the fact that he's a rebel. He's not like a typical Bollywood macho man that you would see. He's very um, open to criticism. He's and you know, there's a saying that okay, don't meet your heroes in real life. But when I met him, he was so down to earth and so humble. Yeah, I mean, and of course, he's really hot. So yeah, तो लड़कों को बस इतना ही करना पड़ेगा. अबे डोल बनना पड़ेगा. बाकी life is sorted और कुछ नहीं चाहिए. I feel like there's no ideal man or no ideal woman. I mean that's really interesting and people are finally questioning the categories themselves. Yeah. Like what is masculinity? What is yeah. femininity? And is it even worth as- aspiring to the way they've been characterized as ideals? Like the ideal man is strong and you know angry and rich and I don't know powerful and this like very stereotypically macho way and is that even ideal? I don't you know and same with femininity like is the ideal woman necessarily a wife and mother and cook and homemaker and da-da-da, you know and and you can be all of those things and a man can be a homemaker and a woman can be powerful and whatever right yeah i think it's a lot of pressure to even be like you know put in the in that jar like she said like it's too um 
it's too specific to call someone ideal or you know uh, is something i'm learning in my 30s <laughs> as i have just entered the then ideal man matlab aisa tumko koi sketch karke jo jisko aise aap kisi ka sketch nikal ke ab ye dhoondo aise nahi hoga na relationships are really built on uh the chemistry that you end up working towards together yeah. not like to aisa ekdam perfect koi mila to usme maza bhi nahi hai with the with experience <laughs> you know you obviously are saying things that are very wise 100% par jab bade ho rahe hote hai na jaise mujhe bhi yaad hai ki there were all of these various criteria some very funny and some very stupid as well and everybody has this image did you have a image growing up of what an ideal man should be that over through your experience you have now changed so she's smiling a lot she's like i, I just have group. a beautiful face ha ah, to bas <laughs> no but i was smiling because i was listening to everyone talk about a man and i'm like mere to itni like zindagi mein ladke aaye nahi abhi tak kiski baat karu main i'm just praying bhagwan ek ladka to fake ho kisi ke bare mein to baat karu ki content nikalne ke liye bhi mere ko dil tootne ki zarurat hai na so still waiting for that person but mujhe to main jitna mujhe samajh aata hai jenzin to bahut jaldi shuru ho jati hai नहीं यार कटता भी पहले ये जेनजी का ऐसा कुछ नहीं है <laughs> बहुत सैड है ये जेनजी के लिए लाइफ बिकॉज बम्बल केम हिंज केम एंड जितने ज्यादा ऑप्शन होते उतना हम ऑब्वियसली लाइक इट्स डिफिकल्ट टू फिल्टर थिंग्स आउट सो आई थिंक डेटिंग एप्स आई गॉट इंट्रोड्यूस टू डेटिंग एप्स इन ट्वेल्थ क्लास टिंडर वॉज द थिंग बैक देन एंड उसके पहले इट वॉज जस्ट लाइक हाँ फुटबॉल टीम का कैप्टन हो गिटार वगैरह आता हो चलेगा क्यूट है दैट वॉज माई डेटिंग क्राइटेरिया एंड दैट वॉज इट एंड समबडी हु डजेंट गिव मी भाव बिकॉज लो सेल्फ एस्टीम इशूज बहुत थे उस टाइम पे and now that i said it sounds really sad i would like to take it back but yeah that was my dating <laughs> criteria and i remember having this conversation with a best friend of mine back in college ki maine kaha nahi nahi gana to aana chahiye na how how will he like serenade me otherwise i mean come on somebody i mean i have to be serenaded <laughs> but that's something that's an event, like i said an eventual realization hai ki nahi itna specific aisa nahi hota hai you know lisa anything you felt earlier or were you always this smart what you can I think though that there's a quality that's very hard to describe about when you feel attracted to someone that you can only experience in person. Like for me this yes. photo thing doesn't work, but there's something about meeting someone in person where within seconds or minutes it's not about how they look, it's not about conventional attractiveness, but there's just like something or there isn't. Whether you call it chemistry or magic or whatever. And so I found myself attracted to very different kinds of men. They don't look the same, they don't have the same professions. There isn't really a type, but I guess the common thread was there was some magic. For me the dating apps is too much like Amazon shopping. <laughs> I need to meet. <laughs> to really know whether the the pyar dosti sex kya hone wala hai. I can only figure that out after meeting a person, you know. So I, the, I'm I'm also asking about your teenage years because we have this section that where we are going to kind of we do unboxing of so any of these things that you feel like that you remember I know cassette. Gen Z saying the mujhe kaise pata hai it existed. Maine And I make playlists now. Playlists are the new thing. Ye jo khat khat likhe hai na wo sare maine exchange kara hai logo ke mujh tak kuch nahi aaya. But in fact like this Ye kaise ho sakta hai? I swear to god ye kaise ho sakta hai? I am being extremely honest here. All of these things are really cute and these are like my teenage things I'm sure like even Lisa's right? Like this is the, the like your mix yeah yeah, 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 yeah yeah the mix tapes and the CDs and floppies But, floppies This is this It's is like called the a floppy old school USB drive <laughs> that oh. very nicely put Uh, when i was growing up in the 90s uh, floppy floppies would become the thing that matlab sare ladkon ne na kabhi na kabhi kisi ladki ko impress karne ke liye uska homework kiya no one did homework for me ever Nobody i I, 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 i was doing homework for people <laughs> mera to ulta tha ki janat so i was supposedly good at math and i would do the math homework of this girl that i liked it was like a big crush oh, that i had so and uh, and at the end when the exams uh, when the results came out she got more than me in math i'm mean, like how is that possible <laughs> she used i used to do all her homework and i got lesser I I don't know what I will sound like, but I didn't have a crush in school. Why? Because I was that like I was a person who would set people up. I used to find joy in that. Like I would be like, "Hey, मुझे कोई पढ़ी नहीं अपनी life की तुम तुम्हारे letters मैं exchange करा रही हूँ वो मैं थी. Wow. So everybody knew about that one guy who uh, had a crush on me, but I would get scared. <laughs> Like I, that was my reaction to somebody like to figuring out that somebody has a crush on me. 
I used to be like, ये क्या होता है मतलब like wow. I don't want this. It's okay, <laughs> you can you will find someone else. <laughs> I guess there's a progression, right? From yeah. when you think that um, I don't know, romance and relationships and all that like almost like yucky or something. When you're a kid, it's yeah, like ew, I don't want to like. I can't imagine like... kissing someone or something. And then by the time you're much older, I guess yeah. it seems exciting. Actually, I grew up with my nana nani. Everybody sure. knows that. Um, so I was very scared of my nana. Growing up, mm. okay, and I was like, "Agar ye ladka who has a crush on me, like come goes to the extent of like coming home or sending me letters or whatever it is, and somehow bahu finding out about it, I will really be in trouble." So I remember that when I found out about it, I first gone to my grandmother and told her that you know uh, this is happening in school and I've got nothing to do with it. <laughs> जाएगा अरेंज मैनेज नहीं करूंगी लेकिन मैं यू नो मैंने सो दैट इरेजर इन द बॉक्स मेरे को एक चीज याद आई हम बचपन में ना फ्लेम्स खेलते थे और मैंने अपने क्रश का नाम लिखा था और अपना नाम लिखा था और हमारा कुछ ऐसा लव या समथिंग लाइक दैट गेम एंड वो आया पीछे से उसने देखा उसने ना इरेजर ले और मिटा दे इसको द फक डूड या क्रश लाइफ वाज वेरी सैड इन स्कूल आई वाजंट हॉट बैक देन आई हैड ब्रेसेस एंड लाइक बड़ा सा चश्मा यूनी ब्राउ और मैं एसएसटी की बुक खोल के बैठी यू नो इन स्कूल दैट्स अ रियल गेम सो आई हैव दिस थिंग इफ आई लाइक समबडी राइट नाउ एंड इफ दे डोंट लाइक मी बैक आई नो फॉर अ फैक्ट दे आर गोना कम बैक इन द फ्यूचर एंड लाइक मी लाइक आई हैव दैट रिज सो सो या एंड इट हैज हैपेंड विद मी लाइक ऑल माय क्रशेस फ्रॉम स्कूल हैव कम अप टू मी एंड दे आर लाइक हे व्हाट आर यू डूइंग आई स्टिल इन बॉम्बे कैन वी मीट एंड आई एम लाइक नो Why so, no? Yeah, because I'm hot and cool now. So I'm too good for them. Exactly. <laughs> Fair. Lisa, any experiences going on? I was also like super nerdy as a as a yeah. kid in school and actually well in into high school, like pretty much till college. And so I feel like I was friends on all through my wow. uh, teenage years or whatever. And then, but what's I think what's a bit dis- disillusioning or a bit like um, you know, you feel it's it. How should I say it? It taints the attention a little is that suddenly when you i don't know whatever like you know puberty delayed puberty happened or something happened and i decided to look a bit different than i used yeah. to i was just like more conventionally attractive yeah. and then suddenly the same people who like never wanted to like see me as cool or worth yeah. hanging out with suddenly want your number and want to you know what i mean yeah. suddenly now i'm worth your yeah. now i'm worth your attention in this way where you're seeing me as mm. you know um I don't know more than just that girl who will help you with the math homework. You know what I mean? I wish that it of wasn't it so contingent yeah, yeah, on those yeah. things, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um because I feel like actually you kind of miss out a little on discovering some really amazing people if if how closely they conform to a conventional ideal of quote unquote attractiveness in terms of like I don't know whatever height weight flana flana you think that this is a two way thing that uh, boys are also in many ways as misunderstood you know or not given as much as a chance as as you know girls uh, are growing up there's also a little bit of a stereotype that i very recently noticed out of conversations with my girlfriends I've, i'm very tight with my school friends right and through a dif- uh, recent conversation i realized that that notion of the guy should ask me out is very uh prevalent even now hmm. for a lot of girls which i don't agree with at all i have been the kind of a person if i like someone i've actually written to them i have written emails, those emails? Yes. Wow. yes i have yeah. written those emails i remember like um i am an overthinker but once i have overthought I once take have action. gotten over that mountain. Yeah, I I do take I an action. I want it. <laughs> I'm sure he also has. Or any guy also might have that kind of pressure. He might be going through that pressure because he's intimidated by you because that happens more often than not. Yeah. Um. So yeah, just go ask the men out if you like them. Really, don't wait on them. So yeah, I, I think so. It is a two-way street. 
नहीं मैं भी यही करता था मेरा ना मेरा मेरा फंडा ये होता था कि मैं ना आस्कआउट नहीं करता था मैं बताता था <laughs> कि देखो आई लाइक यू अब यू डू व्हाट यू वांट विद दिस व्हाट यू वांट टू डू विद दिस इंफॉर्मेशन यू फिगर आउट बट नाउ दैट आई मीन आई आई रियली वांट टू टॉक अ लिटिल बिट बिफोर वी टॉक अ लिटिल बिट मोर अबाउट लव आई वांट टू टॉक अबाउट फ्रेंडशिप फर्स्ट तो थोड़ा कंफ्यूजन लग रहा है मुझे इस मामले में क्या है इज प्यार दोस्ती है या प्यार प्यार दोस्ती दोस्ती प्लीज एक्सप्लेन समटाइम्स Uh, you might not want to lose a friendship by complicating. Th- I think, like when a sexual dynamic enters yeah. a, an equation, sometimes yeah. if it doesn't last very long, sometimes you lose that relationship altogether. Unfortunately, our culture makes us think like, you know, a breakup means you never talk to this person again. So I feel like sometimes people in their thirties tend to think, <laughs> you're like, it is easy to find someone to hook up with. We shall preserve this very valuable friendship because mm. I don't want to not have this friend in my life. friendship is a complicated word and i i think it is hard to have love without friendship enduring love without friendship i mean it, you probably wouldn't be happily married and living with your wife if you weren't great friends yeah, absolutely right so Did i you, think yeah. you know for me i have um, i have seen my grandparents grow into their companionship over the last few years and uh, and that for me has been the most valuable observation that i have held really close to me pyar dosti hai kyunki it is the friendship that lasts you all your life like for my grandparents it was like it was their companionship that meant something to them every uh, marriage will have their own set of issues but how they've grown together through those issues and grown into companions who can just like look over their shoulder and see oh she's there or he's there until he was with us but like yeah. for for both of them So uh, so that for me was like oh this is exactly what i would want in my relationship long term relationship so yeah it it is but let me flip it then like let me ask you ki dosti pyar hai you know ki abhi kya hai ki matlab again putting it in a very bollywood way kya ladka ladki sach mein dost ho sakte hain aur sirf dost ho sakte hain is that an actual thing i think one of one of my best friends is a man and he doesn't live in india but we face time each other like once a month but he's the only person i can cry in front of like oh. i don't even cry in front of my parents but i just i'm very vulnerable around him and he's happily dating somebody else also <laughs> there and we have like a great bond and i feel like if it turns into something more than that we'll ruin the great friendship that we have so i personally as as like a woman i don't want to take that risk i already have bahut kam friends I think it is a bit of a norm though like I think people make assumptions about I think it's a very um how should I say it's a very very heteronormative assumption to make Correct. if if you've met that person and you know that I'm safe with that person you should entertain the idea that we could also Correct. just be friends Correct. right I feel like there is that baggage yeah. around that a girl and a boy alone equals kuch ho raha hai I had you know this very surreal uh, and weird experience of uh this one guy that i i mean i wrote this i wrote again some emoji or something looking you know cutie or something i must have said under someone that i again very dear friends with and this guy says uh, says like you know uh uh sex chahiye question 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 something some something very very nasty and then i kind of com- you know i went to his profile and i saw we have common friends so random so i messaged this guy ki i am the guy you fucking commented un- under now i want to understand what made you do it That's so shameful, man. How first of all you're putting it under girls' thing, which is anyway creepy. Then you're telling another guy who's who might be friends with that person and just yeah. saying, you know, casting at these aspersions is so uncool. He said, no, no, I'm very sorry. I said, I don't want your sorry. And he messaged me there in the morning, next morning, first thing in the morning, seven a.m. Ki I was really just trying to be cool. I was trying to get likes for comments or whatever it is. Oh but like God. you know, ultimately, but that is still the first thing that comes to somebody's mind, a guy's mind, when they look at a boy and a girl together. And now this is a societal thing, of course. Society is going to chali rahe. I think one thing though that especially uh, in like st- straight straight male ma- in the way that straight masculinity is configured, yeah. I think. straight men to each other kind of make it seem like yeah. you are a loser if you are wasting your time being friends with a girl like either you're <laughs> fucking her or you That's should true. go like play football you know what i mean <laughs> like and so they call you a sim they'll almost be like what a loser like this dude is willing to like spend his time on some chick who's not fucking him as yeah. if women aren't even worth spending time with yeah. so this is not coming from a place of attacking men it's it comes from a place of like we just need to talk about this yeah. 
when you actually become start becoming friends with women na then you start realizing yeah aisa kuch hota nahi hai but pehle jab agar bade ho rahe hote ho jab ladke ladkon ke dost hote hain na tab yahi tab the assumption is jo ladki ka dost hai na wo to kuch matlab chal hi raha hai ya fir wo to koi reason hi hoga but oh you are a loser like yeah. the nice guy is a loser to abhi दोस्ती की बातें होगी प्यार की थोड़ी बातें शुरू हो गई हैं बट अ लॉट ऑफ द लव दैट आई सी टुडे अगेन एनी टाइम आई स्पीक टू यंग पीपल लॉट ऑफ देम स्पेशली यंग मैन राइट देर कंफ्यूज बहुत सारे लड़के बोलते हैं कि हमको ना सिग्नल समझ नहीं आते कि इफ देर थिंग इज अ सिग्नल एंड इफ देर इज अ सिग्नल वॉट आर दी सिग्नल एंड हाउ डू मैन रिकॉग्नाइज दी देर आर सम थिंग्स लाइक सिग्नल्स Sounds like a very 90s Govinda <laughs> song for some reason like that's what I thought of because you know <laughs> us zamane ki har movie mein ladki ko patao uska chase usko chase karte raho jab tak wo pareshan na ho jaye and today it's i mean even back then it was called harassment but tab log itna aware nahi the iske bare mein to kuch signal i mean hota nahi honestly if some even i mean I, i i don't know if that's true for like everyone but if i'm genuinely into somebody i will just tell them main unko kuch aisa hand signals nahi dungi exactly <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, agreed. Just say it. Just communicate. I feel like he, I find it personally very endearing, even when you voice your confusion. Hmm. Because it's and not, there is nothing a good conversation cannot solve. Is my philosophy of life. So True. don't like uh, sit and run on assumptions at all. I have done it. Um, just talk. Just ask. <laughs> it's. I think it's endearing to even voice your. vulnerability even voice me voice your vulnerability it's endearing i'm going to take like a lesson from this today and actually tell a person you how must. i feel <laughs> yay <Yes. laughs> so yeah absolutely i feel like talking is is helpful in many ways uh, but the confusion abhi bhi rehta and you know confusion now aur bhi badh gaya because abhi online dating hai so what what makes uh, what is it that makes girls want to right swipe on a guy If the if the person is annoying and unfunny it doesn't matter how they look honestly they just have to be interesting for me to right swipe If they, I don't know, write like funny things, or I'm like, "Huh, my level ka humor match kar sakta." So I won't be bored around him. Or if they have dog pictures, that's so cute. But yeah. <laughs> Or if it's a bit her. A bit her is not on any dating app. Yeah. How do you know? I'll have to shift to Goa for that. Oh, okay. New information. Lisa. <laughs> 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 Lisa, you know. just by statistics there's like a lot more men on dating apps than there are women sure. and i feel like we have to contend with the fact that like what is the worst thing a woman tends to fear on a date like a legitimate fear is like yeah. he might kill me yeah. what is the worst a man has to fear she will reject me yeah. do you know what i mean like these are the fears you're meeting a stranger at night alone yeah. with yeah. right it's such an imbalance in power yeah. that like safety such a basic thing as safety which most men take for granted yeah. is a daily concern for women you know a minute by minute concern where like literally if you're in a cab past a certain hour on the street but just taking space as a woman and after a certain hour you're mm-hmm. made to like wonder about your own safety If we had a a world where women could take their safety for granted, we'd be living perhaps a bit differently. Perhaps yeah. more likely to have more women on the dating apps and more women willing to have one night stands and more willing willing yeah. men, you know, more women willing to live their best lives without fear of literally not coming back home yeah. <laughs> the way they left home. No, this is very very fair, and I think you've provided some very helpful context to why. Um, I think it goes beyond what you're saying. It goes beyond profile pictures. It goes beyond what is being written on the profile exactly. pictures. It's about safety ultimately, and how do you know that something someone is safe or not? I mean, I don't know if you are on apps or not, and if you've ever been on an app, is there a way for you to recognize that? Yeah, ye shar me lagta hai ki na. So I've actually never used a dating app, and okay. I'm in a relationship that I've been in for six years. But I think sometimes can help if you can verify that they are who they say they are, right? Sure. And I think these apps try and do all of that. you know um who they are and stuff i would i would rarely meet someone absolutely alone the first time i ever meeting fair. them right I'd like yeah, yeah, so no, just very, a public fair, place absolutely similarly like i have never been on a dating app even out of curiosity how come it's just i think i'm trying to let serendipity do its job for me like i said at the beginning of this conversation i'm an overthinker so i would want that guy to be uh, vouched for or verified by or like by people who i trust and be able to meet them mm. alone 
एंड एंड नॉट जस्ट लाइक या इन एक्सट्रीम केसेस विल आई इवन कम बैक होम सेफली और एट ऑल बट इवन जस्ट लाइक just the beginning of to to feel safe with someone is a uh, it's a mm. it's a huge gamble like yeah. you cannot really you you don't know how many uh, men you actually end up meeting and you feel like just in a handshake you will know that i don't know if i can know that or not or in a photo so so no, just somebody's enough. presence yeah. somebody's vibe the the magic that you feel or the lack of it is only yeah. felt when you meet the person yeah. what are when you talk about safety and what what is was it what is it that a guy would do that would make you feel safe kya ye safe hai i feel like it's not so much an action like he did this and so i feel safe i feel like yeah. you are either i feel safe or i don't feel safe i feel like unfortunately either you are safe or you're not so safe ma'am like you can't it's not you can't Uh, fool me into thinking you're. It's a very. It's 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 cultivated over years of being a woman. It's like a a, a safety radar. It's like a, a intuition. You just you know? know when you know. You just really, know. like I don't know. I can't think of like one thing that somebody has said to me or done for me. It's just when you're in the presence of someone, you just know. It's about how they see you almost. It's about yeah. how they like. Yeah, it's about in a gaze about, you can tell. Yeah, it's a funny thing. It's like honestly, I didn't have that. Like, no? I, you know, I mean, I was dating somebody, and I I felt really nice and comfortable with this one person, and then over a couple of months, he did some really bad things, like shouting at me or doing stuff that made me feel very unsafe. And by the end of our relationship, I did I I like. I was afraid to be around that person in the same area that he was standing because I genuinely thought he would hit me like it was that bad. So I and you know I had that gut feeling a couple of months into the relationship where I was like I think I should just walk out I think I should just leave but I didn't listen to it because I was like he's still a nice guy you know he treats me really well what if this is wrong but this gut feeling is never wrong and I think that was my biggest takeaway. So I mean you know I and it is again you know really thank you for sharing these experiences because I feel like as much as it is understood it is still not heard enough for some reason by men so i'm hoping that you know as many times these conversations happen aur ladkon ko pata chale ki yaar this is the general experience that women go through like are there things that you know you you all appreciate ki yaar if someone's doing this it just shows something sincere in a guy that you would want to take this forward or i think it's very basic for me just listen to me that's it like i don't want the guy to constantly chapar chapar just talk about himself <laughs> uh where he works what he does and even when they're listening to you yeah. they're not listening to you to just respond to respond back to what you said they're actually listening because they want to know you better to interesting zakir bhai aaye the show pe aur unhone yahi baat boli hai baki ladkon ko advice diya hai ki ladkon ko na sunna sunna karo thoda jana aur aur genuinely suna karo matlab curiosity se bandra buddies hai hum isse wo to hai hi kiske sath badi nahi ho uh anything else that you can think of like even one or two points that that you think can be helpful for example i find it a huge turn off if somebody is very rude or obnoxious to like the waiter the waiter <laughs> or <laughs> any or anyone say. else who's in a position of where like okay maybe you're paying for a service yeah. or maybe you're higher up in the um corporate ladder or whatever yes. if you treat people who are so quote unquote junior to you or in a position where they yeah. owe you something differently from those senior to you like for me that's a big red flag yes. also the unkind to animals cruel to an animal for me would be like a big red flag the one thing that i really appreciate in men and because of the societal norms that we have um it is hard for men to do is what i am also learning is to um accept their vulnerability hmm. and uh, don't just do it for the sake of it but i know that it's hard for men to to do that and i find that really endearing when you kind of just uh, strip yourself naked of like your masculinity and wanting to be strong and you know men yeah. men don't yeah. cry kind of thing doesn't mean go and cry but i'm saying that you know just be honest about who you are and your feelings and that is enough to show your vulnerability and like including these two things i think it is very important kindness yes listener yes but like mm. even be like a just an honest person you know it's okay to be vulnerable really how, how do you let me like again the point is how do you simplify you know love and dating what is love for you all and and how simple or complicated is it 
oh my god <laughs> I feel like Nikhil is asking the toughest questions that I have never thought the answer. How have you not answers. thought so Because far I mean, in like life? Not deliberately thought about. You've done a whole show, like about <laughs> romance show. and love. Things are very Teen different. Things, कुछ तो मतलब but फिर भी जो show कर रहे होते हैं कुछ तो inside मिलता ही है. I, in my opinion, I do, referring from the show, I wouldn't think it is. Um, as complicated as we make it sound because it is it's ultimately about accepting each other's imperfections and living through them and um, and that for me is love like two people who like to call each other home and are each other's homes and want to go back to each other at the end of uh, a tiring day uh, if there is that one person that you think of to go back home to then i think that is romantic love for me in reference to little things for sure um and i have always said this that that's a show that's made me feel the worst about being single because uh, i don't think dhruv and kavya are perfect at all but the fact that they have learned to love each other through their imperfections is something um that is worth learning from and that is love so again i think it sounds like companionship companionship for for most part yes because like both of them said so rightly that you know it's a it's a lot of pressure to put on one person to find everything all the answers from uh and yet they are your world but i feel like um yeah companionship is at the crux of all of it because um ultimately it is that one person that you want to fight with and fight for wow that's nice that's sweet Lisa I think that um it's characterized as if it's some magic thing that you're just automatically going to be good at like when you fall in love you'll just be able to love this person mm. and it'll be and you know you ride off into the sunset together but I think that more long term um you know it's the the feeling of having a crush on someone and all of the uh, butterflies in your stomach and all of that is a a short part of a much larger picture where actually you need to renew love every day you know it's not magic it's not just um i think that it takes work it's a daily practice almost loving is a skill you know that can be that you can get better at and that if you spend time and mind space and heart space allocated to loving in a deliberate way every day you're more likely to feel loved together in your relationship like years and years and years in you know what i mean yeah. best way to get good at loving is to love uh, yeah. every day yeah. as much as you can yeah. i think baki ladkon ko pata nahi shrishti ke aaj sare concept clear ho rahe hain because the way she is looking at both of you i am the, the love, love with these and, two yeah, the love yeah, and the love and all of them the, yeah just I'm so old now <laughs> yeah shrishti <laughs> that's true so i i'm genuinely like, in awe and i'm just genuinely she puts listening to stars over there <laughs> um Okay, so so I mean, I think this is very sweet answer around love. Now I want to just again understand how much does sex actually matter in a relationship? My mom will be watching this. <laughs> Mama, Miss Virgin, why do you say other virgin? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think you know the funny thing about sex and the way that it we, 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 it it is characterized is that it's kind of like hyped up a lot, like sex, yeah. sex, 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 sex. Yeah. um but it's also there's all the shame and like you shouldn't talk about it and you must pretend that you don't do it yeah. and all of that as well so there's like at one level it's like hyper sexualized our media and at, on the other hand it's also like shame laden and stigmatized yeah. and on the other hand though we also never see representations of like asexuality or the fact that some people may not be driven by sex sure and i really think that more than how is how important sex is to a relationship how important is sex in a relationship to you versus to you yeah. versus to me i think those are conversations worth having with our prospective partners because obviously life becomes a little easier if you yeah. if you're able to understand each other's um sort of sexual yeah. selves or sexuality yeah. or or you know re- relationship to sex yeah. to me the idea of having to get married to someone without ever having had sex with them and i know that's how much of like yeah. marriage functions yeah. but to me it's like i <laughs> it's like unthinkable you know yeah. like i really think we should figure out a uh, um sexual compatibility or at least have a conversation about it early on you know 
it's such a lovely answer again I, and you know I mean I mentioned it at the top of the show I wish like somebody had spoken about something like this growing up because such a big thing in everybody's head right sex 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 but matlab iska iska actual jo aap baat kar rahe ho it's about compatibility it's about uh, so I mean and I just want to follow up question a lot of men also write to you about you know sex and sex related topics uh, what have you learned about you know uh, men and their understanding of sex through the dms that you have gotten you know i think it's so uh, unfortunate that we don't yet have like a straight male sex positive content creator in india Agreed. or like even a there's very few like body positive content creators who are male either in a funny kind of way um women and queer people have finally been uh able to break through the sh- culture of shame and silence and start talking a little bit about or like if you have all these privileges of safety etc you're able to maybe start having these conversations like, i can come on to instagram and be like you know i used to feel really insecure that i have small breasts growing up i used to wear padded bras and blah 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 and now i've grown to feel more comfortable in yeah. my skin i have never seen a man is unlikely to go on there and talk about his own body insecurities yeah. why because other men are likely to make fun of him yeah. you know or like he's likely to be seen as less masculine or something like that even though they like there's this bro culture that's keeping yeah. men from being able to be vulnerable because they fear how other men will judge them maybe also women but so and then in my in my dms i have all these men pouring out their insecurities i mean of course men have body insecurities and insecurities around whether they're lovable or not or whether they love or find love whether they um worthy of desire whether they are going to be able to satisfy their woman in bed whether they're big enough hard enough last long enough like all of that stuff right so i i think that unfortunately it remains something men do not talk about it's as important as and there is nothing that a good conversation cannot solve first of all yeah. uh so it is it, as long as you're wording your thoughts and needs of um as sir whatever your cerebral needs are you are able to word them so should you be able to do that for your physical needs but whatever it is as long as there is a conversation about it communication about it and with consent mm. with consent of course yeah no i mean i totally agree with both of them but i feel like i need to feel safe and you know secure with the person that i'm with no matter how intimate i am with somebody as long as i'm like i'm i'm not myself i'm not feeling safe i don't think so it has any meaning to it and obviously this is not just restricted to us being physical or doing anything intimate um in general also if i if i don't have that sense of security with somebody i just cannot be open vulnerable i can't be vulnerable with that person now again i know that i've asked this question before but i'll ask uh, in the context of romance you know is there any sex positive so to speak behavior that that you all appreciate even especially when it comes to making people consent i suppose is one very easy and simple yeah. you know way the that you know it is so low it is so yeah. low <laughs> i'm always impressed if a man has lubricant for example Interesting. fantastic you think about the sex you're having um i feel like also if you if you try and convince me that you don't want to use a condom that is a red flag big one <laughs> obviously um, Uh, I think they need to see vibrators as their best friends and yes. not as their competition. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow, yes, she's she. Okay. Oh, <laughs> 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 that is so sweet. Absolutely Super. agree. Yes. Very nice. And then like they shouldn't be insecure of vibrators in the first place. I mean, why would you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I like uh, accountants threatened yeah, by calculators. Yeah. Yeah. Um I think also uh since we're at it, I mean this, like now is the, this is like the funnest yes. part of the chat. Yeah. Uh, I think that I think that it's really very nice when um when a man seems to desire you in your in the way you are as opposed to like being like grossed out by like body hair. I feel like many men think like women just I don't know yeah. like look like baby dolphins or something <laughs> like you just born like hairless you know like never dolls, have to poop yeah. like I don't know yeah. man you know I'm a human also okay with hey. hair and and like yeah, all kind yeah. of would have a blood feces like all of this stuff yeah, is part yeah, of life yeah, when you yeah, live yeah. with someone right you're going to fart sometimes you're going to like <laughs> you know and I feel like it's funny but like women aren't supposed to have any of these bodily things so yeah. you're supposed yeah. to like look like a barbie doll all the time or something <laughs> it's like come on dude no. you're an adult and you're scared of pubic hair like their life will throw some big shit at you okay ladki ladko ne hygiene thi hai na life ke andar you know so 
it's it's very difficult you know like you know i mean again it's even this conversation around self care when it comes to the body for men it's just been such a recent conversation in that sense na mujhe khud hi matlab growing up i didn't even once think it was an important it's thing it's like a lot whereas i feel like as long as you are both maintaining um basic hygiene. personal hygiene absolutely, having a shower etc उंड्रीज Uh, it is as important as respecting your emotional boundaries as it yeah. is to respect your physical boundaries. I mean, I asked you before coming to this chat also if you could find some compliments that you've gotten that you actually find wholesome or sweet or interesting. Uh, and I heard from all of you in different <laughs> ways that that was a very difficult uh, task. Really tried hard. I, you know, went to my YouTube and I went to like my DMs and other comments, and I was like. all these comments are from women you know like they're so nice and uplifting yeah. mm-hmm. and they're like yes girl you can do this they are cheer leaders even though, even though they don't know you but men they either they send you hate or they don't send you anything yeah. it, and it was you know surprising yeah. for me also wow like i really don't have a lot of love from men in my dms yeah. so yeah uh, i i every time i get like a really wholesome compliment like i screenshot it so i had a folder uh-huh. of like four or five compliments yeah. that were really wholesome so when he asked i just copied and pasted those because it's so rare yeah. i get i mean yeah. there'll be compliments but they'll just be like love yeah. you madam love you ma'am hi ma'am <laughs> yeah. love you want to fuck you ma'am i'll get wow. i want to fuck you ma'am i find oh it so God. funny it'll be like <laughs> We will objectify you, but we'll also respectfully. Resp- yeah, respect. <laughs> One of the attempts, <laughs> semblance of uh, because you're thirty-three. <laughs> we, we can tell that you're older. So you're in the ma'am category now. God. But we still want to. It's so funny, man. Oh. It's like a you know that like psychology of you must respect your elders, but you must also objectify women. It's yeah. <laughs> it's just so yeah. funny. I'd love for you to read out the ones that you had picked the out. The good ones. Yeah. Sure. Like one person wrote to me, yeah. I've I've been following you for a long time, and I'm a big fan. And I wanted to tell you that I noticed you look the happiest and most peaceful whenever with your cute dog, Aww. Mouse. Mouse is my dog's name. It makes me very happy to see you happy. Aww. Isn't that sweet? That's, That's so nice. cute. It's so sweet. And I am really happy with yeah. my dog. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, so true. <laughs> yeah. So I thought that was very observant. Um, and then like um, someone said. The thing I admire most about you is that you seem like someone who would never judge anyone. Even when you talk about the difficult and the taboo things, your eyes and your voice are so kind and gentle. That That's sounds like Nikhil. <laughs> <laughs> so what 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 is it in these comments that you have appreciated? It's they've taken time. This is like a thoughtful compliment where they've re- obviously what you've said has resonated enough for them to take the time out. to give you a compliment look i get a lot of questions and yeah. i value that as well yeah. but for like the 200 ways that you can take my time so that you can benefit from yeah. something here's someone who's taken time out of their life to just say something kind to me without anything in return it's not an ask for information it's not something you could easily have google that now you're just yeah. uh this is more appreciated that you've actually put in an effort to write more than five sentences saying and thoughtful, nice yeah. and thoughtful saying nice things about someone yeah, yeah. and that is appreciated yeah. because yeah. there is so much hate already yaar on the internet yeah. like you can actually stand out by saying nice things yeah. so and, and the last thing that i want to ask uh, you know ye and again this is matlab main jab bada hu to mujhe mere zamane mein to nahi tha ye to common but yaar ye dick pics kyu bhejte hain log i think it's not even pictures anymore like i've had people who put like a you know story of them masturbating or like them yeah. standing nude and they'll tag me in it and like i open my notifications i check the story mentions and all because sometimes people like make edits of me they write very sweet things about me and i don't want to miss out on that like this happened to this is way back when i decided to make content in i think my first year of college somebody uh, made a fake account of, with my name my dp and uh, they went live and they started like masturbating <laughs> and they had like all my friends added my friends were following that person because they thought it was my second account or something and i think the reason why my parents also were a little hesitant when i told them i want to make content or i want to put myself out yeah. there because they knew that men on your comment section will come and say this they will send you creepy pictures because that has happened like i've had prank calls done to me at 2 in the morning also especially now that i've started living alone in a completely different city it's even scarier 
So I don't know if this will ever end because I didn't do anything to deserve this. You know, I, yeah. what did I do to like uh, ask for those pictures? Did I trigger you in some way? But I want to know like what goes on in your brain where you decide to traumatize a stranger on the internet. Yeah. Wow. Sorry, it's happening, babe. I'm like really like I, I mean I was I've been asking these questions to actually figure out like is there a reason? But just like I suppose even like the fact that this is happening is such a big trigger, right? I mean this 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 way of seeing how straight men interact with women. It's like ladki ko chedna is like the national pastime, you know? Yeah. It's like we must trouble as if like if the boy who has a crush on you is going to bully you or you know this mm. the stereotype of like that he'll be mean to you or tease yeah. you or something yeah. and that's his indication that he yeah. likes you or some yeah. I don't know. We have this weird strange things we're taught about how to show that we like someone. I mean whether it's stalkerish behavior or harassment like behavior that's sometimes venerated in these movie scenes as if that's what a real lover should do like literally yeah. like ha harass this girl till she finally agrees to meet you somewhere i feel like either you or it's just a thing for attention like you somewhere get off on the idea that like yeah. this woman has now seen a picture of your penis i honestly don't know honestly don't know if men think that women are going to be aroused by a picture of the like like no sorry dude like it's just not how it works you know you're not going to see yeah. a picture of some strangers genitals and be aroused <laughs> thank you so much for sharing all these experiences and again i'm i'm really sorry for all the stuff that you've gone through uh and uh, um i know it's been hard for you to talk about this but i think ye conversations bahut important hai especially among you know uh different genders you know i think you know ek hi gender mein conversation jab chalti hai to bakiyon ko pata bhi nahi chalta so i'm very happy mm -hmm. that you've had this thank you for taking the time to and and uh, um doing the emotional labor to kind of put this out there uh, but i want to end up with a little bit of a hopeful and a wholesome note hopefully uh, this is a section which is our shout out section you know it's our uh uh you know our matlab mere show pe to main hi karan johar hu you have to answer with the names of men warmest hugger kwasar thakur padamsi who is my mentor oh and yeah nobody comes close to the hugs that he gives lisa mm you oh how sweet it's <laughs> abhedol I have a few friends who are very good listeners. I, I feel like they'd just be names, but um, maybe like two of my male friends are very good listeners. Two, two of my closest friends. Uh, one is uh, one also happens to be my fitness trainer. So he is um, a silent ther therapist for the for all of us anyway. So Popeye and another friend of mine called Arjun. Who's a guy whose mind fascinates you? Aaron Call. I don't know if you guys follow him. Aaron. Guys, I can't tell you the kind of conversations I've had with Aaron about cosmo, universe, philosophy, spirituality, religion. Mind blowing. He's I not the same person he's on Instagram. Like he's <laughs> way way cooler in real life. That's it. <laughs> my dad. I would say I'm really fascinated by. He is special and kooky and like super quirky. Yes, so and yeah. so his mind would. I just have a crush on him. So Trevor Noah. Oh, that's a great, that's a good answer. That's a solid answer. I also have a crush on him. I love his mind absolutely. Uh, a man whose smile lights up the room when you're with him. You know my answer. Yeah. What are you saying? His cousin. His cousin. Abedeol, Abedeol, Abed. Okay. My grandfather. Nikhil, you also score very highly on all of these, huh? This is very you could have easily been the answer. <laughs> so good listener, oh, yeah. I have not been true and good, good hug. Yes. I'm ho gaya. Abhi khatam hi hai. Last episode. Iske mujhe aur episode karne hi nahi hai. Thank you. Really. <laughs> no, it's true though. I'm not saying it lightly. Yes, I agree. I think Ranveer yeah, yeah. Singh like lights up a room. Trevor Noah oh, yeah. is extremely a part of my life. Like as much as. Like <laughs> <laughs> Daisy as much as he can way. be. Like, well, so, um, the sexiest fashion sense that you think. I know her answer. <laughs> no, no, it's Ranveer Singh this time. Ah. Oh, <laughs> it's Ranveer Singh. Yeah, but you'll see her again. I'm very disappointed. Yeah, Ranveer Singh for me. I mean, yeah. that's what I we were yeah. talking about. 
sexiest style. In fact, I would rate, uh, I would give this to Abhay. Like Ooh. I think Ranveer is quirky and I love it. Yeah. But sexiest fashion sense is really? he's is just sexy fashionable? in general. Just huh. like his, the, he looks so comfortable in however, yeah. like however he dresses that like it, that is sexy. Funniest guy you know. The first guy who I thought of was my brother-in-law. Mm. I think my dad. My dad ha has taught me all the crazy B grade, A grade, C grade Bollywood references from 90s. I think even if I say that Babu Bisleri, I will say that he will tell me which movie is the Babu Bisleri. So I think I get all my humor from my dad. That's funny. Pizza? Funniest guy you know. Yeah. Oh, that's hard. But I just met Zakir before and I yeah. think he's really funny. Yeah. And I really yeah. do absolutely. like him a lot as well. On all the other counts, he scores yeah. very high too. Yeah. Undoubtedly. A guy who makes you all blush? Yeah, I mean, I have a crush on somebody, so yeah, he does that. I mean, if Trevor Noah meets me, I'm sure I'll blush. Obama, cello. If I ever met Barack Obama, even Fair though enough. I'd probably have to be blush. very serious, I think I'd blush. Most expressive guy in your life? I think you. I can't with the answer now. My cancel the answer. But this is the right answer. Yeah, <laughs> you, you're very like expressive yes. and vulnerable also and sensitive Excellent. also. So. Thank you. Most expressive person in my life, I would say, is my dad. Because he, he was um, somebody who was also not afraid to break the stereotype for us. And we didn't know it was a stereotype until we grew up, both my sister and I, that, you know, Orto ki jagya kitchen mein hoti hai is a generic stereotype, right? A societal yeah. norm. And I, I have grown up in a house where my father used to cook. And he, he still enjoys cooking. So it is something that, like, he was never afraid of... Uh, accepting or expressing he's not afraid of crying he's not afraid of telling me that he loves me so um, and even when he's upset <laughs> even when he wants to complain he's still equally expressive so i would think so and the final one uh, uh, the guy in your life that you feel most safer a lot of men yeah i have been fortunate and i would say that from a place of privilege but a lot of men in my life have made me feel very safe you I wouldn't. Being yeah, I feel like <laughs> wouldn't spend time with. I wouldn't keep someone yeah, in my life exactly. if I didn't feel exactly. safe around. Exactly. I think uh, my dad, my brother, and like my two guy best friends, and that's really it. I feel unsafe around men very quickly, and that's why I need to be in my safe space before I open up. But yeah, I think these four people really make me feel very safe. Which is why Mithila, I think, said also it's a privilege, I suppose, yeah. in many ways. Yeah. But like. Yeah, I hope. I mean, you know, thank you for doing this. Thank you for this uh, um, wholesome rapid fire, uh, which I uh, got a lot of for validation. <laughs> I'm so very happy. No, but the jokes aside, uh, um, again, I want to really thank you for your honesty and your, uh, um, you know, I know it's not easy to talk about these things, especially in a public forum. You have personal experiences, you know, kafi. I mean, good, bad, ugly, but specifically the bad ones and specifically the ugly ones. I am so glad that I could uh, find this excuse to talk to these wonderful, wonderful women who I admire very much. Thank you so much for being on the show and I'm so glad that we could do this. Thank you. Thank you for, Thank you for having Thank us. You. Hi, you guys. If you enjoyed this conversation and this episode, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to We Are Yuva on all social media handles. This conversation is out on all streaming platforms, so do check us out there. <laughs> It is hard for men to do, is what I am also learning, is to um, accept their vulnerability. Mm. And uh, don't just do it for the sake of it. But I know that it's hard for men to, to do that. And I find that really endearing. When you kind of just uh, strip yourself naked of like your masculinity and wanting to be strong and, you know, men, yeah. men yeah. don't cry kind of thing. Doesn't mean go and cry, but I'm saying that, you know, just be honest about who you are and your feelings and that is enough to show your vulnerability. Someone's in a different mood today. Of course I am. Because today I'm not a host, today I'm a guest. The series is over, but this is a bonus episode where we are reverse uno. Uh, I am going to be on this side of the couch. So I am very relaxed, no stress, because I have to ask, I don't have to ask.